Paruasaurs are an extinct group of anapsid reptiles classified in the family Paruasauridae. They were large herbivores that flourished during the Permian period. Description Paruasaurs ranged in size from 60 to 300 centimeters long, and may have weighed up to 600 kilograms. They were stocky, with short tails, small heads, robust limbs, and broad feet. Paruasaurs were protected by bony scuts called osteoderms that set into the skin. Their heavy skulls were ornamented with multiple knobs and ridges. The leaf-shaped multicusp teeth resemble those of iguanas, cassiates, and other reptilian herbivores. This dentition, together with the deep body, which may have housed an extensive digestive tract, are evidence of a herbivorous diet. Evolutionary history Paruasaurs appear very suddenly in the fossil record. It is clear that these animals evolved from muterolaterids, perhaps a ripaeosaur like form to fill the large herbivore niche, or guild, that had been occupied early in the Permian period by the Cagiid pelicosaurs and before then the diadectid amphibians and edaphosaur reptiles. They are much larger than the diadectids, more similar to the giant Cagiid pelicosaur Cotylohinchus. In fact it may well have been the extinction of the Kezids created an ecological vacuum that enabled the Paruasaurs to appear and suddenly diversify as rapidly as they did. Although the last Paruasaurs were no larger than the first types, there was a definite tendency towards increase of armor as the group developed. Classification Some paleontologists have argued that Paruasaurs include the direct ancestors of modern turtles. Paruasaur skulls have several turtle-like features, and in some species the scuts have developed into bony plates, possibly the precursors of a turtle shell. Jalal and Janvier, in a large analysis of paruasaur relationships, also found turtles to be close relatives of the dwarf paruasaurs, such as Pumiliopurua. However, the exact relationships of turtles remains controversial, and paruasaur scuts may not be homologous with the shells of turtles. Associated clads, Hallucicrania, the clade Hallucicrania was coined by M. S. Y. Lee, Philanthanasucha Day Plus. Lee's paruasaur hypothesis is looking rather less likely following the discovery of Odonticolis, a transitional aquatic turtle with very non paruasaur like teeth and whose half shell matches embryonic development in modern testudines. Recent cladistic analyses reveal that Lanthanasuchids to have a much more basal position in the Procolophonomorpha, and that the nearest sister taxon to the Paruasaurs are the rather unexceptional and conventional looking neuterolatrids, the two being united in the clade Paruasauromorpha. Paruasauroidae The clade Paruasauroidae was used by Lee 1995 for Paruasauridae plus Sclerosaurus. More recent cladistic studies place Sclerosaurus in the Procolophornid subfamily Leptopleuroninae, which means the similarities with Paruasaurs are the result of convergences. Paruasria If neither Lanthanosuchids or Testudines are included in the clade, the Paruasria only contains the monophyletic family Paruasauridae. It's a traditional Linnaean term. Phylogeny Below is a cladogram from Tsuchial. References. Carol. R. L. Vertebrate Paleontology and Evolution, W. H. Freeman and Company. New York, P. A. 205, Kuhn, O. 1969, Cotylosauria, Part 6 of Handbuch der Paloherpetology, Gustav Fischer Verlag, Stuttgart and Portland, Lorin, M. Introduction to Paralysria, an Upper Permian Group of Anapsids, Society of Vertebrate Paleontology. Paruasaur. Bumpy Beast was a desert dweller. Science Daily. Retrieved May 17, 2014. A, external links. Hallucicrania, Paruas reforms at Mikos Phylogeny Archive, Anapsida, Hallucicrania at Peleos.